Hey everyone, it's Eric, and today I have a Kringle candle haul for you combined with a Colonial candle haul. Wow. Uh, it's just been a really crazy week, so I'm really happy to be able to take some time right now and upload some content and talk with you guys about candles. This is definitely my happy place, so let's get into it. Now this haul is actually from their Black Friday sale, but last weekend with Bath & Body Works having their Candle Day sale, that kind of overshadowed everything for me as far as uploading content. I was running around like a crazy person looking for candles, so now that things are getting a little bit back to normal, um, we can talk about some of the other candle companies on here again. Finally, about time, it's about time. So let's get right into it, you guys. We're gonna start off with Kringle Candle and then we'll work our way into Colonial Candle. So the first candle I found on their Black Friday sale was 75% off. It was their Leaves Candle. Now this is an older candle from Kringle because it has the two wick instead of the three wick. And unfortunately, I don't have the scent notes on this, but you smell a lot of clove and like a spiced apple note in there, a little cinnamon. It smells extremely similar to Bath & Body Works Leaves fragrance on their three wick candle. So if you're familiar with leaves, it smells like almost identical. Yeah, they smell so similar. But this uh, Kringle candle actually smells a lot stronger than the Bath & Body Works on cold. So for $6 and some change, I think this was a great find. I don't know about you, but I'm not made of money, honey. Whenever I can find a uh, Kringle candle or Bath & Body Works or Goose Creek or any of them really for $6, I'm totally on board with that. The next candle I picked up was Tinsel Time. Now I've already hauled Tinsel Time once, but I wanted their taller uh, two wick cylinder jar that they have. I really like the label. And your set notes on this are white birch, balsam fir, and musk, pomegranate and holly berry, holly greens, and citrus. And I get the citrus and the greens in this one. It's kind of like fruity, herbal to me, kind of like that herbal, fresh, fruity fragrance going on. I like this. I really do like this fragrance. Uh, I have it in the three wick that I've already hauled, but I just, when I saw the two wick available for $11, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll pick another one up. That That's a good price. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. So I picked that up. Then I picked up uh, Amberwood. Again, now this is another one I've hauled already, but this candle, you guys, smells so good. You're uh, fragrance on this. The top is bourbon and spice vanilla. Your mid is wood smoke, spice, and oak. And your base is birch, amber, and bourbon. You get a lot of wood smoke and that spice and the bourbon. Like, there's a lot of bourbon in this one, you guys. It smells so good to me, though. I really have to do a candle review on this, you guys. This just smells so, so good. And this was, uh, these were 50% off, so I was happy to pick that up as well. The next candle I got was the Snow Capped Fraser. Your scent notes the top is amber, fir, and balsam. Your mid is fresh, greens, and moss. And your base is pine, spice, and wood. This smells like a classic Christmas like pine candle to me. I really like this candle, you guys. I was hoping the candle back here, the winter evergreen that's in the background, I don't know if you guys can see it. I was hoping that particular candle would have this kind of a fragrance when I had purchased it, but that one's a little too perfumey for me. So this one smells more like a true evergreen forest, a little Christmassy to it. So I really like this candle on cold. So very excited to try this candle. Is that a fact? The last candle from Kringle that I picked up was Snowbird. Now I've already hauled Snowbird in the uh, two wick cylinder back here with the hummingbird and the little Santa hat, but that one's just so cute to me, I don't wanna burn it. I know that sounds crazy, but I just, I like that one just sitting on the shelf untouched. So I picked up a Snowbird in this jar style with like these little cardinals in the forest. It's really cute too. Adorable. Cute as a button. This one, the top set notes are orange zest, snowfall, and balsam. Your mid is peppermint, cassis, and iced cranberry. 
and your base is golden amber, cedar, and juniper berries. This one's really nice too. It has more of like that cranberry note coming out. A little of that balsam. The balsam's not too heavy on this one. You get a little of the orange and the cranberry and like the amber is more what I'm getting out of it than like the juniper and the balsam. They're there, but they're hidden down in there. So this is a nice candle as well. So like I said, I didn't want to burn this, the one in the background here. So I picked up this one that I could use and not feel uh, guilty about it. I just, I know I'm weird like that, but I just love that jar sale so much that I'll, I'll probably keep it around every year just as like a decoration. The older you get, the sillier you get. The older you get, the uglier you get. So that is the Kringle Hall, you guys. Now let's get into the Colonial Candle Hall. So the first group of candles that I'm going to show you are from their Deco collection. So these are part of the Deco collection, but these are the holiday uh, portion of their Deco collection. So the first one up is this Spiced Gingerbread. Really cute with the gingerbread men, the stockings, little houses and uh, Christmas trees going on. And they all have wooden lids. Now the scent notes on this I do not have because the scent notes they list online are actually for their cranberry plum. Oh. So unfortunately I don't have the scent notes, but I can tell you that it has a nice uh, light gingerbread cookie fragrance to it. You get a lot of cookie actually in this one. Cookie? and then some of that gingerbread. So it's more cookie to me. Cookie? With a light gingerbread fragrance. Smells really nice. I'm hoping it has a good burn on it, but it does smell a little light, you guys, on cold. So that is their spiced gingerbread. You don't care about me. It's my cookies. It's always been the damn cookies. Well, sugar, the bakery just closed. Next one up is the Cranberry Plum with this poinsettia wraparound jar style. And your scent notes, the top is citrus, fresh, spicy, cinnamon, and clove. Your mid is apple, fruity, rose, and powdery. And your base is tonka bean, vanilla, and red wine. So I mostly get the, the citrus with like an apple and like cinnamon clove spice. I'm not so much picking up the rose and the powder fragrance notes that it's talking about in here. I don't really smell any red wine either. No, don't snort it, just drink it, sweetie. Oh, fabulous. Fantastique. But it does smell very um, Christmassy to me, very like a nice holiday uh, citrus spicy fragrance. So I'm glad I picked that up and I really do like these jar styles that they did. The next one is the Peppered Juniper. I was really excited to pick this up just because uh, because of the peppered part of this. I thought that would be kind of neat. Your top is mint leaf, juniper berry, crushed leaves. Your mid is eucalyptus, clary sage, and wild jasmine. And your base is fresh evergreen, cedarwood, and cool spruce. So there's no peppered fragrance to me in this. What? which is kind of a bummer but it's a nice just kind of evergreen smell with the sage it's a little sweeter than i was expecting too you guys it's a little bit has like a sweeter uh, fragrance note not like a like a sugary gourmand scent but just a sweeter fragrance overall that might be the mint leaf that i'm picking up it's not bad it's just not exactly what i thought it was going to be so that is the peppered juniper. Next we have cinnamon clove in this wraparound jar style. Cinnamon, no kidding. Well, this is ginger curry and I'm ground cloves. And this one, the top is cinnamon and spice, your mid is ginger and your base is allspice and nutmeg. So pretty straightforward here. Mm. I just love like those kitchen spice scents that they do like this. Ginger curry. Good Tootie, when in doubt name yourself after a spice rack. So I get a lot of the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the, just the spices, like those, those baking spices you use, you know, in the kitchen. It smells so good though. Very nice. Nice candle, you guys. And the last candle I picked up in the Deco collection was this cedar balsam with the uh, pine trees wrapped around it. 
Your top set notes are autumn yellow pine cone and sparkling bergamot. Your mid is alpine juniper, crisp woodland and oak leaves, and your base is forest balsam and cozy cedar woods. Ooh, I like this. So you get the balsam in this one, you guys, but there's also like a fresh woodlandy fragrance, almost as if you were walking through the woods where you can smell kind of the falling leaves that are on the ground with the pine. It's a neat fragrance, you guys. Very realistic to walking through a woodland area, you know, either late fall, early winter with the leaves on the ground and some pine in the air. Uh, I like this, you guys. It's not what at all what I thought it was going to be. It's not your typical uh, balsam pine Christmas fragrance. There's, it doesn't remind me of Christmas at all. This is more of a woodsy, woodlandy kind of balsam going on in there. And I'm really impressed by that, you guys. I like that. That's really nice. I, I'm really happy I picked this up, actually. It, and I was only getting this because I wanted to just kind of complete the collection of this, this Deco collection. And that actually was uh, quite nice. Uh, nice, fresh fragrance to that. The last candle I picked up was from their Pop of Color collection, which if you're familiar with Colonial Candle, their Pop of Color collection is kind of like Bath and Body Works White Barn collection. It would be the, kind of the equivalent to that. And this one is Mistletoe and Sage. Your set notes on this, the top is crisp winter air, clove, and apple skin. Your mid is fir needle, winter berries, and frosted eucalyptus. And your base is tonka bean, vanilla sugar, and oak moss. Mmm, this is very Christmassy, you guys. You get the fir needle... There's some winter berry fragrance going on in there. Very fresh air fragrance to it, but it's very, very Christmassy uh, to me anyways. This smells like Christmas in a jar, you guys. <laughs> I don't really pick up the uh, tonka bean and vanilla sugar, and I really don't even pick up the eucalyptus. But wow, does that smell good. This is a nice candle, you guys. So I'm very happy to pick this one up as well. Hopefully this will have a nice throw to it. I just gotta keep smelling this so good. Very Christmassy. Love it, love it, love it. So that is the combined haul for Kringle and Colonial Candle. If you have any of these candles, please leave comments down below of what you think of them. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.